Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is in Acts chapter 13, verses 42 to 52. Remember in the previous passage, Paul shared the gospel in a sermon to the people in Pisidian Antioch. Today's passage describes how different people reacted and responded to the message of salvation. So before we read today's passage in the Bible, let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we pray that we might react and respond to your word in the right way, that we might have hearts that listen, ears that really hear, and that we would uh, do what your word commands us to do. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now read along in your Bible with me, and we're starting in chapter 13 at verse 42. As Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people invited them to speak further about these things on the next Sabbath. When the congregation was dismissed, many of the Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who talked with them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. On the next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy. They began to contradict what Paul was saying and heaped abuse on him. Then Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly, We had to speak the word of God to you first. Since you reject it and do not consider yourselves worthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles, for this is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and honored the word of the Lord, and all who were appointed for eternal life believed. The word of the Lord spread through the whole region, but the Jewish leaders incited the God-fearing women of high standing and the leading men of the city. They stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their region. So they shook the dust off their feet as a warning to them and went on to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. What is God saying to you today in this passage? Think about it. Maybe read the passage again if you like. And then get your soap journal out and write down in your soap journal what God is teaching you. And don't forget to share it with someone else.